There is a lack of investment in mineral exploration and AI has the potential to change this. To talk to us a little bit more about it, we are joined here by Josh. Josh, thank you so much for your time. Before we get into the AI bits of the discussion, let's talk about why we're seeing uh, little activity when it comes to mineral exploration investment. The lack of investment in mineral exploration is a global problem. There hasn't been enough investment to generate the pipeline of high quality projects that's going to supply the raw materials that we need for a global fleet of electric vehicles and the transition to renewable energy. What we need to see is much higher investment in exploration around the world. And the reason that we haven't seen it is because exploration success rates are too low. More than 99 projects will fail to become economic mineral resources. If we can get the exploration success rate up, the capital will flow. There's nowhere better to be investing in exploration than here in Africa and in Central and Central Southern Africa. And this is demonstrated by the success of our Mingoma project in Zambia. We've just announced that this will be one of the largest and highest grade copper mines when we put it into production. The core of this deposit is more than 5% copper grade. It is like Kakula in Congo in size and in scale. This is extraordinary. We don't find these opportunities anywhere else in the world except for in the Central African Copper Belt. So the discovery potential in Africa remains amazing. There's nowhere else like it in the world. And it's a great investment environment. We've been operating in Zambia now for four years and we found it's stable. We can hire outstanding staff. It's a safe place to operate. We have been supported in fair and transparent ways, the compliance with the law. So it gives us confidence that Zambia and elsewhere in Africa are excellent places to accelerate our investment in exploration. When it comes to that investment in exploration, how are you thinking about AI being able to solve some of the issues that you've just highlighted in the beginning, but and also what is COBOL doing in that space? So innovation and applying AI to mineral exploration is how we get that success rate up. What we're doing at Cobold is we are inventing and deploying AI technology to make better exploration decisions. We have a whole suite of now hundreds of different models that our scientists use and they apply our models to make decisions on exploration projects. Mm -hmm. Our technologists work together with our geoscientists to use insights from conventional geoscience and the best of industry practice combined with innovation in quantitative methods to pick out insights out of the data that are hard to see with your eyes, to use many different data sets together to make better predictions, to understand the uncertainty in the subsurface and design exploration programs to collect the data that we need that will most effectively reduce uncertainty. That is, that's what exploration is all about. We're trying to reduce uncertainty in the subsurface to define mineral deposits and eventually to exploit them. And so we're using AI technology to make better exploration decisions and in the success of Mingomba demonstrates that our approach is working really, really well. This year, the theme for the mining in Daba is uh, positive disruption. When you hear that theme, what comes to mind? I think in the first instance of new ways of thinking and new ways of getting insights out of data that lead to new discoveries. And I think about new ways of working with people so that the benefits of our discoveries are shared widely in the communities where we operate. Josh, thank you so much for your time. For more insights, go to MITV and you can access that on the Mining and Daba website.